Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training, I'm Matthew. In this video we're looking at the DOMA SVP, the mortise electric latch. The, the lock itself is a, like a traditional sash lock, um, so you have a, a latch at the top, deadbolt at the bottom, um, deadbolt's controlled by the, um, the key on the outside, and the handle controls the latch. What makes this different than normal sash locks is the external handle is electronically controlled. So when you connect it to an access control system, um, without um, granted access, the handle is free, it doesn't engage the latch. When access is granted, the handle becomes uh, engaged to the latch. You can press it down and let yourself through the door. So having this type of lock on your door is a lot neater than other, um, other installations of a locking devices. Let's have a look at the ordering info. As with most locks, you have to order several components to make a lock up. So starting at the top here, we have these are the ADI ordering codes. So starting at the top, you have the handle set and the escutcheon. Next is uh, the lock itself, left or right-handed. I'll show you how to choose hand in, in the next um, frame. Um, the split handle, that's the bar that sits between the handles. It's split down the middle um, with a cam, so the handles aren't physically connected, um, but they're in line with each other and then a double euro cylinder. That's so you can have key override on the outside and you can maybe deadlock it from the inside if it's on a residence or a private office. So um, we talked about left or right hand. Uh, you need to decide whether it's left or right handed. You can actually change it if you order the wrong one, but have a look at this, uh, have a look at this flow here. Um, green is the, the direction, so you can choose left or right handed inward or outward opening doors. Okay, let's have a look at how you would connect this to a Net2 system. So the um, the Net2 Plus controller, it has a power supply, as you can see in the middle there, it has a power supply. Where the first outputs are used to power the Net2 device. The other outputs are spare outputs for locking, so we can use it in our application here. Um, I've used, uh, tried to use as many different colours as possible, uh, so, so you can you can see along there. But the gist is, on the um, SVP lock, you have a, a loom which comes out of the back of the lock um, and you would need to connect that to the net too. So at the top, you have your positive and negative. You apply a negative to the lock to tell it to lock or unlock whether you're using fail safe or fail secure. Um, so what you would do is get a, a negative um, trigger and create that link as I've done with the green loop there and send that to the red wire on the SVP lock. And, and in its basic operation, those are the three wires you would need. You, you just need positive, negative, and trigger. If you're going to be using this on a door with a door contact where you're monitoring the door, you need to tell the Net2 device that you've just unlocked the door. So you can use one of the outputs from the SVP lock. It has a handle monitoring output. And you can use that handle monitoring output to trigger the exit button of the Net2. Now, we're not actually telling the Net2 to unlock the door via an exit button input. We're just stopping any false alarms from, from pushed or forced open or anything like that. And there you are. Those are the um, easy connections for the Dolma SVP lock connected to a Net2 access controller. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.